Stuck in traffic, you can do many things. <laughs> you can do many things in the back of the car, but I'm talking about front of the car. Put some audios in there instead of listening to the radio. You can put some audio programs, some great books about business, about marketing, about branding, about technology, about your whatever your subject is. You can educate yourself. Number two, you can feel grateful. You can just stop for a little while for 15 seconds and think about all the things that you're grateful for. How do you feel today if you went if you had to go to office without an underwear? Conscious all day. Especially when nice people are around, right? So you have an underwear, feel grateful for it. If you have, what if you had to go to the office without shoes today? How conscious would you feel? You have shoes. So feeling grateful for the things that you have, feeling grateful for, look at that thing, man. What is that called? No boy. All right. My brother's name is Vivek. But Sarkar, not over there. Um, So, uh, feel grateful. Uh, so you can listen to audio, you can feel grateful. Third thing you can do, is you can just plan out your tomorrow or plan out what you're gonna do, wind down. You know what most people do after they come home? <sighs> they feel so tired. You know, the, ch the children come and hug Papa or Mommy and they're like, yeah, I'll talk to you later on, right? Happens to most people and that's absolutely understandable because you work hard but if you, before going to home, if you just park your car, pull over for five minutes before you enter the home and, you know, relax and, ah, relax for a few minutes and then go, feel more recharged, re-energized, powerful, right? You won't, look at that man behind me. You won't, you won't be tired like him. You'll be fired up in your life. You go inside and you're like ready to bring some fire and some wood and some fuel to relationships. That's what I want for you. I want you to have a great life, a powerful, massively desirable life. Because remember, desire is just expression looking for expansion. Hmm. Desire is expression looking for expansion. And I know you have a lot of desire to take better care for your family, to make more money, have more fun, probably have deeper, more intimate sex with your wife. Maybe a, a more intimate hug with your children. Maybe, maybe creating better friendships with people and going deep and having conversations that you never had for the last five years because you have been busy being busy. When you do these things, number one, listen to audio programs. Number two, feel grateful. Number three, wind down and plan your day. Your day becomes amazing. You have more fun. Woo! You have more happiness and life becomes amazing for you I want to see you someday not in the back seat though beside us with us so we can take you to the next level in your life in your confidence in your power in your conviction in your speaking skills so you can get a raise and promotion without asking for it mm. you can get all the things that you want without asking for it because you attract you don't chase you attract you don't ch chase, you choose. You don't run after things, you make things run after you. Without arrogance, you attract things by being a magnetic influence in your life right now. That's what I want for you. My name is Bishal Sarkar, always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. <laughs>